So let me introduce myself first. I'm Miranda Jayavadhanya from attached to the Department of Agriculture and Food Technology. So uh, the first part is I'm going to do the how to work the research paper and also the brief introduction about the research, what is the research paper. And there are many more uh, types of research papers. The first part I will do. And then thereafter, Dr. Kamal will do the rest of the other parts of uh, our this work. And I'm, I have to thank all Ms. Nisambu Tenwadu and also the organizing committee of the International Research Symposium 2023. So as a student, as a dear student, as a student, you might think why a research paper uh, is important, why you are asked to write a research paper. And there are many reasons to research paper is important to you. So your that that has been this month has been mentioned that our research symposium is going on will be held on this uh, December. And for that, you have to submit your research work. You may uh, in final year or the third year, and you are doing some projects work and uh, work based projects and this final year researches you have you are going to conduct and your works is to be publish in the elsewhere, like uh, in a journal or a conference or symposium, you have to publish your work. So why we are asked to write a research paper? There are many reasons a research paper is important to you. The skill that you learn from writing a research paper uh, cannot be learned from other academic writings like reports, case studies, and project reports or assessment. Now we're doing uh, such kind of academic work, but Right. Again, the skill that you are learning from a writing a research paper cannot be learned from other academic writing. So these skills that you will develop from a writing research paper will help you in achieving an uh, academic subject. And research paper is a platform to disseminate your novel findings to a general public or a focused audience, and as well as uh, popularize your work generalize your research work to the world and prevent a duplication of the study. You have, you are going to do a, a, some kind of innovative thing, innovative work, and then you are going to publish in, in a journal or a conference or a symposium. And then the, the audience will know about your research work and then the next uh, audience or the next scientist will not going to repeat not going to duplicate your study, then they are going to get your work for their as their literature. And the writing a research paper is the way of passing your knowledge to the scientists or the people working in the same field of related fields that you are uh, in the industrial technology. So you are sharing your knowledge with the, your field, your own field. It can be a hotel management or uh, tourism studies, textile studies, uh, industrial management, food, uh, food field, you're going to uh, share your knowledge in the related field. And when you have done a project work like work-based project and your findings and gain knowledge, what you have identified through the data collection and after analyzing your data, you have to present it to and to an audience. And the research paper or a conference paper, journal article, uh, or writing a book chapter are the platforms to disseminate your gain knowledge. And as well as you can receive critical peer feedback after you have published a research article from readers or audience, then, then you can evaluate that your project work is good or the audience, are there anything to be improved? other related areas to be improved likewise. So there are, there are many importance of the publishing a research article and um, it is uh, much important carrying out of a research, actual research. So the publishing research article is that important as the carrying out of a, a actual research and the dissemination of findings being as important as the actual finding. Another thing is if you are working in an academic field, uh, if your career is academic related one, it is much important to publish your work as a research article or a book chapter or a conference paper in for obtaining grants or funds and also important for the career progression. So that is the importance of a research paper, writing a research paper to an audience. 
and there are types of research papers you may know and already know about this and you, if you go to the google you may find different types of different categories of research uh, paper paper types and there are many more and uh, based on, according to the basic uh, things i have uh, categorized these the types of research papers into seven categories but there are many more right according to your work uh, that uh, according to your work in the field there are different types of research papers and the first category uh, then before you are going to write a research paper you have to define what kind of research paper is that you are going to write right in your field you have to identify what kind of research paper you are going to publish in the conference is it is uh, your own work uh, if it is based on your project work or if it is a review review article or a case study likewise you have to find out what is your uh, aim what is your objective to write a research paper and what type of research article to be published in a journal so because the content of your work depend on your research paper type so uh, the first category i have mentioned is experimental research paper so you have most of your from the industrial technology uh, field and you are doing your most of you are doing the some experimental related research works the work based projects and industry based projects you are, these are based on the experimental work and the experimental research work is a present the result of a controlled experiment conduct to a test specific hypothesis or build a hypothesis or a uh, as a solution to a research question so your work on that uh, experimental research you are going to uh, get the data for that and you are you are doing the experiment and you are make uh, some uh, new methodologies now all methodologies you may uh, prepare and then your findings you may uh, according to the data you are going to make a formula calculations are there then you are interpret your data so it includes details about the research design and the, what is the methodology you have followed and the results obtained and uh, that the interpretation of the data. The data can be interpreted by the either tabulated form and also a graph, graphical design and also a pie chart, bar chart like graphical interpretation or, or also from the pictures or the photographs likewise you can uh, disseminate interpret your finding and the, the collected data could be used to foundation to build a new research idea for the further studies your, so your key is going to be a uh, new research ideas to the further studies further scientists further uh, people the people who are going to read your research article and gain your findings and the methodology section of this type of paper describes the experimental design and including the details of the participants and the sample size and the, are there any democratic areas are there location and the population the materials used raw materials used and the, are there any chemicals uh, glassware those have to be mentioned in the methodology part and also procedures are there any kind of uh, processing methodology procedure or uh, are there any variables un under the investigation likewise you have to mention it in the in your uh, research work in the experimental research work and also it should be detailed enough to so that the others could uh, replicate the study so your methodology should be detailed then then thereafter the next uh, people who are read your work then you can they can get your methodology and they are going to replicate the study that's how the research is after the publishing that's for how the researchers are going on and the next type is we call review papers so most of you are encouraged to re write the review papers that is based on your literature review if you are working on the uh, work based project to do for your final research uh, you are going to find the literature you are going to survey the literature critically review the literature from the existing research articles so that is review paper is the synthesize and analyze existing research and publication on the 
specific topic. It provides a comprehensive overview and a well-researched overview of a specific topic. The primary focus of a review paper is to examine and summarize the existing literature related to a specific research question or topic. So the review papers are again uh, can be categorized as the narrative review paper and the uh, systematic review paper. Okay. So generally, the, generally you are writing the narrative research papers that based on the uh, topic topic based on all the published research are available on the topic, right? So uh, generally written and objective and in an unbiased manner. And the goal is to present in a balanced way. You have to balance your view. Uh, either you, there can, can be some pros and cons of the uh, existing research. So you have to evaluate that. You have to uh, get some idea from that existing research and then you are you're going to give your own idea about these or, or going through the, all these the literature. And, and you can uh, compare the gaps in the research, existing research from the through a review paper. And the review papers typically follow a structured format, uh, likewise the introduction and the methodology is uh, optional for that. I have told you that there are two different, uh, Basically, two different review papers, narrative review papers and the systematic review. So the narrative review, there are no, the methodology part is optional. You no need to mention the specific methodology for that. Then you are going to give an introduction about the, the, your, the topic, the specific topic. And then you are going to uh, divide the sub topics according to the uh, your main specific topic and the main body section discussing the different aspects of the literature and then finally you are going to give a conclusion your own view of conclusion you can give and also before the conclusion you can discuss what the you have gained from the uh, literature review so this is the format for a review paper actually it is for a narrative review paper the title is there, abstract is there, that you can, um, according to the, the guidelines, you can minimize the words, words, count of the words. And the, you are going to give the introduction, brief introduction about what is the uh, topic you are going to uh, review in this paper. And then body section, you can uh, categorize in a section the body if there are any kind of uh, three kind of methodologies you are going to discuss from the existing research, you can uh, divide into three sections and you are going to discuss by with the subtopics. And then finally, you can come to the conclusion and this uh, review papers for the literature citation, it is very much important thing because and not like the other research works because you are going to uh, Follow the most of the literature uh, existing research. So the reference part is extensive number of this uh, references should be there rather than the uh, normal experimental work research. And the, in the systematic review article, it should be have a um, search from the answer to a particular particular question in the existing scientific literature on the topic right so in that systematic review that uh, you can uh, have a methodology part also the abstract title abstract introduction and also there's a methodology part like the, in the methodology you can include and the exclusion criteria is there and also you can mention what are what kind of research papers you are going to uh, find out here for writer review article and also study selection you have to uh, get, mention the study selection and the data extracted are also can be mentioned in the methodology part and the the quality assessment you can do and then you can, uh, after that, you can do the data analysis. And also in a systematic review, you have to analyze data according to the uh, existing research. The citations are there and you have to manage, categorize them. And then you can uh, analyze the data in the 
uh, results and discussion part. And then uh, in the discussion, you have to summarize data and uh, give an in interpretation of your own. Then finally, you can come to the uh, conclusion in the review paper. And the next uh, type of paper is we call theoretical research paper. These papers are focused on uh, developing and presenting uh, new theories or uh, models or uh, frameworks based on the existing research or prior theory or observation. It aims to advance understanding in a specific field of address theoretical gaps and uh, re reduce the gaps in between the theoretical data presented in uh, existing literature. So the structure of the theoretical research paper includes uh, the introduction that is outline of a research question and the literature review section and also the discussion of the theoretical concept and then the conclusion uh, summarizing the key findings and contributions. So this is uh, not related to the re theoretical research paper is only focusing on theoretical things theoretical things and uh, it is a uh, kind of a review paper but it is only based on the theoretical uh, addressing the theoretical gaps and discussing the theoretical gaps theoretical things are discussed in that kind of theoretical research paper so these kind of research papers are very commonly found in the discipline like science philosophy social sciences and economics and uh, various theoretical branches of the natural science but you are in the industrial technologies you, you may not be found that kind of theoretical research paper because you are having the work with the, most of the innovation and the uh, work related one and your work are like that so the, the theoretical research papers are most of the times they are based for the uh, natural sciences and social sciences and also there are type of uh, research papers we call uh, argumentative paper or persuasive uh, papers. In this type of paper, it is also a kind of review paper. And in this type of paper, the author present a uh, well-structured argument supported by the evidence to persuade the audience to adopt a specific viewpoint or opinion on a controversial topic. So you are going to make an argument with the as an example i have given here uh, the argumentative essay is there a changing education system so it is an argument you can make an argument in your own research paper you are you are talking about the pros and cons about this uh, changing education system are there any advantages and disadvantages likewise you are making an argument inside the re research paper right so Evidence will persuade the evidence to adopt a specific viewpoint or opinion in, in that kind of controversial uh, topic. So, the introduce is two viewpoints. You are, as an author, you are going to introduce two viewpoints. In your paper, you are going to make a two viewpoints and you are make a discussion inside the paper and make an argument. And on then, finally, author gives a his or her own viewpoint. You can give your own viewpoint finally after making an argument from your uh, argumentative paper. So for that, uh, for the supportive materials you can get from the literature or the, some con um, some conver conversions and some conferences. There are some uh, or talking with the audience or interviews you can Make that argument in your paper. And there are another kind of research article is called analytical research paper. So this paper aims to examine the topic in depth, like the breaking it down into a, a constitute parts and the analyzing each component. Also, it is a, like a review paper type, type of a review paper. And it does not involve conducting new experiments. Right? It is a, even though it is may, uh, named as analytical, it is not involving conducting new experiments or collecting new data, but focus on the critical analysis. So, also these are from the 
uh, existing research and literature taking the data from the existing research and then then examine you are going to examine the, according to objective you are going to examine the, the topic and then uh, analyzing the each component throughout going through the all these existing research articles these research papers collecting data from other researchers and analyzing them kind and such kind of a review paper and this it does not try to persuade the readers but uh, to influence the readers but they are it making a new way of thinking to a reader giving a new viewpoint by your uh, review paper so those kind of review papers are much important because um, you no need to uh, review papers the review papers or analytical research papers and this argumentative paper is uh, giving some importance because the review papers from valuable scientific literature as they summarize the findings of the existing literature that you are going to summarize the literature review so you are going to re read a review paper so you, the reader no need to form idea to get an idea from a go through all the existing literature and you you the letter you can give can have from a one specific review article so to, without having to read all the published works in the field so readers can easily get an idea from a review article so that is the importance of that kind of analytical research papers uh, review papers and the uh, argumentative research papers that is the importance of that and there are also another kind of research papers they are we call case study so it, it is uh, based for the different uh, specific disciplines actually the case studies are research papers focus on the, the in-depth analysis of a particular um, individual or a group event or a situation so it can be a medical situation or a, some economic uh, problem or a, the problem uh, find out in a market or a, a kind of a company or an organization so that particular individual or a group or event or situation is you are going to study and and you are interpreted in a case study it often provides a valuable insights on the practical applications in real world context and it is not going to go through the literature but it is uh, giving the value uh, the insights of the real world context and the situation is coming with the real world context and the as an uh, medical scenario uh, medical health so that case study so case study research have been widely practiced in both social sciences medical sciences and also natural sciences research so you can see the example for the case study and uh, is giving a practical marketing solution in a, uh, this kind of uh, classic care line so it is a case study the care study according to a situation and the uh, Another type of research paper is we call survey research paper. So most of the management study um, students, they are going to do some survey research paper. And also, uh, the survey research papers are uh, gathering data in the large scale. Not, uh, not like the experimental data. In the experimental data, there are uh, some limitations for the data collections. But for the uh, survey research, they are, we are going to gather the lab large scale data to identify a non permeable disease so you have to uh, collect the data from the specific area specific demographic graphic area or uh, the survey can be do through the questionnaires or the uh, sharing uh, insights from getting insights from the social media or uh, some kind of interviews from the person hopefully likewise you can collect the data from the representative sample of the population so according to a situation or a uh, area wise or sample wise population wise you can do a survey research paper 
the paper discusses the surveys methodology uh, what are the, the findings and how the methodology is how you are going to do the survey is it, is it according to a questionnaire questionnaire based a survey or an interview based a face to face interview or a, a social media, using a social media platform like by and also uh, getting through the medical uh, officers like the hospitals likewise you can gather the data you can collect the data for a survey and these survey research papers are widely using the social sciences psychology marketing and to analyze the um, competitive analysis you can if you are going to introduce a new product to the market so you are going to have uh, some market analysis for through the survey and you can consume analysis by giving a questionnaire whether this kind of uh, product is uh, you are going to accept or not likewise you can uh, gather the data for the survey research paper so they are valuable for the gathering data on large scale and providing insight into the attitudes and behaviors of the uh, specific population or a group so those are the types of research papers so according to your work according to your field of work you can uh, identify what type of research paper is you are going to publish in the conference or a symposium or a journal so and again that the content of the research paper and the, the format of the research papers that you are going to write is uh, based on the guidelines of the, that specific journal or a conference or a symposium in the IRS 2023 there is a guidelines you can go to the website and you may find the guideline for the specific kind of research paper so they have given the uh, guidelines format uh, the how the uh, titles should be there and what and the word limitations are there the abstract limitations are there likewise you have to adhere with the guidelines of the uh, journal or uh, the conference right so then uh, we have to talk about the key components of the research paper i will briefly uh, go through that and uh, in depth uh, dr kamal will explain about the what are the key components of a research paper uh, the research paper typically consists of several important parts that are essential for the presenting the research in the clear and organized manner why the specific structure and the requirements may vary dependent on the academic discipline right and the target journal or a conference usually the following these are the um, key components of a normal research article that you have to uh, give a title and uh, have authors or the name and introduction method methodology and the results in discussion, conclusion, and the finally reference list. And remember that the specific formatting and style guidelining may vary based on the target publication or the academic institution. And uh, this is the first part we call the title, the title of the paper of the paper. The title should be a concise and informative. The title captures the essence of the research topic. The research paper title to uh, function as a sole fact of the influence in the, uh, the decision. What is the, the, the particular uh, the particular paper? It is the uh, the title is the essence of the research topic. So it it, it should be a keep simple and also it should be uh, brief and attractive. And the primary function of a title is to provide a um, precise summary of the paper content, right? The, in the a good research paper title should be content keywords used in the manuscript and should be defined the nature of the study. So the title, your title of the research paper should be focus on the, what you are going to do in your work should be, uh, briefly given a title 
so it should be simple and briefly brief and attractive and also should be uh, give the descriptive words like what and usually uh, the good title of a descriptive paper is typically around 10 to 12 words because uh, the lengthy title may seem some unfocus and you take the reader's attention away from the important point right so if it is specific it is much uh, get the attractive uh, attraction of the reader and the, then the, the next part is the author names and affiliation you may uh, find out that in a research paper you can see that there are the, uh, the names of the uh, authors and the affiliations are there and the the format of the author names and the affiliations are also according to the guidelines of this that specific journal. The initial, if it is the uh, author name is in the, with the initials or sur only surname, likewise, and it has to be uh, adhere with the guidelines, right? And also, there's a you have to mention what it, who's the corresponding. So normally, the corresponding author is the the who is handling the uh, all the paperwork and who is the who will handle the corresponding of all the stage of the, of the publishing the research paper likewise uh, the corresponding author is considered as the, uh, the owner of the research paper who is the uh, make all the correspondence with the uh, when you are going to publish a research paper and uh, the, the, the very important part is the abstract. Abstract is a brief summary of the entire paper, highlighting the research question, methodology, main findings, and conclusions. In the abstract, you are not going to give the figures or graphs or the entire tables. You only the the according to the there's a maximum word count is there according to guideline, and then you have to precisely give the summary of the entire paper. And it helps the readers to quickly understand the paper's content and decide whether to read further. And the, the abstract should be attractive. Then the reader is going through all your paperwork according to your uh, summarized abstract. So uh, about the abstract, the comments will be discussed later. And in the abstract, later on the cake abstract, you, you, usually you are going to Immediately after that, so you have to provide the maximum of four to six keywords, and also it is depending on the journal guideline. And the introduction, it is uh, that provides the overview of research topics and the stage research question and the objectives, and explain the significance and context of the study. And also the literature part also can be included in the introduction as a separate part. Sometimes as a separate part, literature review is uh, requested by the journal papers. But uh, most of the times, the, uh, the literature review part also showcasing inside the introduction part, right? And uh, in the introduction part, you have to give the citation in text. The citation you have to give in the text. And the index citation or, uh, should be in indicated in the in your reference list sometimes the according to the uh, guidelines there may be the index citation is not going to be uh, fine like this uh, but you can mention it as a number the number is in the reference list and the literature part review is in depth of the review of the relevant previous studies and publications related to the research topic and this section demonstrated researchers understanding of the existing body of the knowledge and identifies gap in the literature that current study aims to the address according to your work you can uh, get the supportive uh, research findings for the literature review and in the methodology the methodology can be uh, divided into materials and methods. If it is an experimental work, you can uh, divide it into the materials and methods. And you can uh, mention the raw materials, are there any chemicals or spheres. You can mention in, in the methodology part. And are there any procedures? Uh, any kind of flowcharts is there? 
uh, step by step uh, procedure is there you can mention it all the things in the methodology so it ex explains the research design how you are going to collect the data methods materials procedures used to conduct the study so this section should be detailed enough for the other researchers to replicate their studies and so your finding your methodology is going to be used by a, uh, another researchers in their further studies and the results and discussion parts will present all the findings of research in clear and uh, in an organized manner so you can uh, use the tables and the graphs some kind of diagram figures supportive documents supportive uh, data presentations and pictures photographs likewise you can interview your you can uh, present your findings and according to the findings you have to make a discussion you have to interpret the, that data and analyze the results in light of the research question and the object the discussion should be related to the findings to the existing literature and address any limitations or potential uh, biases in the study right so always you have to when you're mentioning any kind of research finding you have to um, indicate the table if you have mentioned it in the table you have to number the table and you have to mention the table topic of the table and also if you are going to present a figure you have to mention the name num number the finger figure and also you have to give the discrete details of the figure and then you can come to the conclusion after the discussion you are going to come to the conclusion so it is a, again a summary of the main findings their implications and how they contribute to the broader field of the research and you should not introduce a new information in the conclusion you're not going to include the new information but rather it repeat the key points of the paper and i also have to mention in some uh, research articles they are asking the highlight the highlights are uh, usually come as a separate some journals are asking to uh, give a highlights of the research paper that highlights are we call um we are going to give some uh, point form in a point form you have to highlight your research work that with that highlights the readers are going to attract you attract to your paper work it is depending on this is the optional part some uh, journals are asking to submit the highlights highlights of the um, in a point form you have to submit the uh, highlighted areas in your work and the finally you have to come to the references and we call it bibliography the list of all the sources cited in the paper properly formatted references ensure that readers can locate and verify the sources used. So there are different reference styles that they are um, come as we discuss about that thing. So and also there are the research uh, you can find out the research papers, existing research articles from the through the Google Scholar and also you can go to the uh, respective journal sites, websites like Science Direct, you can search from there and also you know sci-hub is a, another platform to uh, search the research articles uh, so you can uh, find out existing literature existing research articles through that uh, different search databases or uh, journal site website so this is i have those things i have to mention you uh, the Kamasa will discuss the further things about what is abstract and extended abstract likewise. Are there any questions or clarification? You cannot or uh, Kamasa will continue the other part. Kamasa. Okay. Thank and you. Dr. Rande, thank you very much for so sharing with uh, more detail with our pan audience good morning to all you again
am i audible yes sir uh, sometimes if the noisy background will come uh, is it uh, please mention uh, if you're not uh, audible give me me uh, actually uh, most of the part uh, in that in the research uh, uh, dr randya mentioned but i have share with some detail about then in the how to write and a research paper that is very important part of your life as in the student life and the academic life let me one minute for sharing with that presentation when you are attending at the research article that you have already uh, attend the in project work or any kind of research work you have to prepare some thesis or dissertation after uh, the, the dissemination of knowledge where we have attend in the journal paper or a book chapter or likewise in the symposium that is the dissemination point so you have to concern about when the dissemination you are not given into the all the details in the like the dissertation for the uh, thesis so you have to concentrate in the one topic so you have to select in the one component as to, to that based on that the content should be arranged as in abstract and the introduction part or the background of the particular title and some of the part in the literature review in uh, according to the given title and methodology sometimes in the methodology it include in the material selections and the sample selection or location selection preparation formulation procedures everything in the methodology in the testing procedure although and uh, in the research and discussion and conclusion and references those are the seven steps you have to follow when fulfilling those seven step then uh, you are complete at the end in the research article at that uh, uh, steps before following you have to select a attractive title and uh, all the uh, details you have to mention in the abstract within a very few words why uh, the abstract is the one uh, forum in the one uh, dissemination part in the all picture in the your research so that in uh, normally 250 or sometimes in the 400 limited words within limited words you have to write an in the abstract when we are writing the abstract you have to two three words in the starting point at the comments in the purpose what is the purpose of that in the research in the aim and the specific objective or why you are attending that and the design part it also needed to include so that uh, in design in uh, methodology how are going to data collected or designed in this purpose to achieve that in the research and even how are you in the participants then uh, your intervention part is more important and it mean in the research or treatment measurement everything you have to mention in uh, in the abstract in the body 
those are the key component in the abstract and finally you can in with the conclusion within 250 or uh, with the range of 400 words according to the given guideline you can change so that you have to write it and also some of the abstract especially you have to put in the keywords keywords is to the one uh, key component or technical terms where are we finding in other researchers to as in the literature part your abstract will be uh, getting uh, more information about that in the particular services in the searching so uh, that is in uh, abstract some of the uh, symposiums i uh, expecting only abstract submission it is a one page paper no in the two pages within the one page you have to write it as an uh, one example but is uh, not uh, uh, included in the more in the detail this is the one abstract in the 2017 in the one uh, symposium it included uh, only receiving in the abstract this is the one uh, abstract uh, in the with the keyword normally in the keyword is included in the five uh, keywords or six keywords but is uh, then you can see that in uh, topic is dehydration of mushroom and uh, development of value added products so that it is uh, uh, one abstract including uh, what purpose and uh, methodology and finally uh, this one uh, included Kamal, sir, excuse me Sorry. we cannot see the, the abstract uh, Kamal sir ah. only the slide slide is there so that in the one page uh, is enough for the when we are submitting in the abstract if any uh, symposium are receiving that part but uh, we are not encouraged with the only the abstract submission. Uh, normally, we are going to in the extended abstract of uh, ex uh, full paper. At the abstract, I mean, uh, earlier I mentioned, uh, normally we have two keywords. Some of the abstracts not keyword, but especially in the keywords. You can see that in some uh, title, comparative analysis of precast construction and conventional construction of small scale concrete building in terms of cost this is the one uh, topic in the research article here you can see that in uh, in the keywords especially in the keyword five keywords one you have to write in the italic form and put into this uh, uh, combination and engineering research and development. Other one in the exporting in the versatility of like this is the one topic. Here you can see in the keywords. Those are the keywords normally we use, especially based on the uh, selected type. You have to concentrate when you are selecting or find. Uh, writing in the keyword at last of the, in the column uh, part of the, in the abstract this is the one part and also another example development instant flour mixture for cookies with finger miller i have not mentioned in the keyword but you have to think about what are going to be included in the keyword other one is edible packaging for food processing waste the comparative review this is the one review paper is uh, concerning what the edible packaging from food processing waste it is a comparative review they uh, that uh, paper concerning the as in review article in here in the keywords are you can see edible packaging one term 
Food processing is the one term. Food waste and bioactive component, biopolymers. Five keywords are included. Then you can see, you think about in the uh, top part of the in the uh, title, which keyword we can use. One is in the finger mirror, must. And some of the instant raw mixtures. And there are some uh, measurement, important measurement, which you can measure. Mention. Those are the keywords you can select based on the topic. Likewise, uh, the abstract ending with the keywords after conclusion and keywords. When uh, submitting in the extended or writing in the extended abstract, there's a again understand the sorry. It has a no, one uh, word is missing. Yeah. Uh, understand uh, what we are going to, you are going to write according to the title and the purpose. And uh, you have to uh, determine the length. Normally, in the extended abstract, we are expecting in the six pages or eight pages. Sometimes it will be up to nine. And uh, you uh, uh, going to start with that in the title and uh, context and the background is included and all the described with that the methodology and main findings and the implement implications you, you to include. But in the extended abstract, you have to more detail with that in the literature part and the methodology included but in the normal abstract only one page but extended depressed you have to write down with the uh, all the results and graph uh, images and tables to be included and um, it length lengthy than the abstract one Ex uh, normally six pages or so eight pages page wise but uh, considering the review paper versus in the research paper dr may and uh, Aaron they mentioned in some points but uh, i have mentioned some part of that in the features as per the features how we are going to um, differentiate your research paper and the review paper review paper normally we are gathering more information about uh, person findings and we are comparatively study comparatively interpret all the things in the research paper you are attending directly in the uh, measuring everything you are attending with the actively and you are gather data and you are analyze and interpret everything so those uh, the analysis part from the literature you put into review paper. So uh, analysis part, you gather data, actively engage with that in the sample, then you are attending with that in the data interpretation. So those, the things in the key features, in the definition and the purpose, nature of research and content, you can compare with the review paper and the research paper. So that in uh, uh, you are going to secondary sources mean existing, existing data and the existing papers for the review paper. But you are attending with the actual data in the research paper. So some of them are, uh, can uh, submit in the review paper, some of them are can submit in the research article with your primary data. Normally, concerning the word limit, it uh, review paper uh, in this, like in uh, not in the journal, in some of the symposium, like us, 
quick, you can write down in the within 300 to 600 words. But in the research paper, it more than that can be included. But uh, based on the given uh, criterion, you have to follow according to uh, in the particular symposium or the journal uh, rules and regulations. And uh, description and explanation and words in the review paper and the research paper, you can see the comparatively you have to describe all the gathered data from the secondary sources. But in the research paper, you can compare with your primary data uh, and other existing uh, data. Those are the uh, things in the description and the explanation part of that in the research, research and discussion. As an example in the review article, normally you can use in uh, different way of uh, titles. Uh, you can see that in some uh, review articles uh, in the topics, and um, as an example, academic stress among faculty and students in higher education it is the one part. And the review paper and the research paper, a study on attitude of urban and rural college students, teachers towards science. Based on that in the um, primary data, based on the secondary data. So when you are uh, finding a uh, key component of that in the review paper, you have to search in the relevant literature. You have to evaluate the sources. You have to identify the themes. When you are reading gathered uh, information in the secondary articles uh, or secondary data, then you can outline the structure then you can write your literature review. Those the five uh, steps you have to follow when you are writing the review paper. But in the research article, then you have to follow in the introduction and uh, literature review and the methodology and uh, research and discussion and the conclusion finally in the reference. Then uh, I will share with some uh, articles when we are uh, publishing in the symposium and the journals. Then you can see what how in that in the particular part. Before that, uh, before in my presentation, before concluding, in this symposium mentioned in the references, uh, especially in the APA style. There are many styles. In the Harvard style, APA style, and MLA style, likewise. You have to keep, mention, and keep in mind, there are five keywords in the reference list, in the citation. One is in the author or author's last name. In the first one is name. Second one is year. Third one is sorry, in the first one is author or authors. Second one is title after year. Third, uh, fourth one is in the publisher. In the name, in the year, in the title of the research paper and the year of publication, then finally publish it. There are five, five fingers. You have to keep in mind five fingers. Name, year, title, publisher, publication, uh, publisher. 
with uh, in the particular pages so this is the referencing style but those five key uh, fingers can be changed according to the style according to the apa style in the name or last uh, author in the author's last name with the initial and the uh, year of publication with some uh, commas and uh, dots can be changed only the changing part is there uh, as an example in the uh, journal citation you can see that in the the author one author and also in the year this is the name uh, of the title then uh, in the publisher and the year with the volume and issue in also in the uh, web link also there this is the five fingers then you have to follow that and uh, when we are writing a publisher normally we use in the uh, italic form but uh, in the more authors you have to write all the authors in the last names with the initials when you are cite uh, in text citation when you are in the body in the particular part article you are grabbing they are in the bindings when uh, more than two are, uh, authors when you are uh, findings in public you have to write in the ital word it l means uh, it l means that is the italic word it l is a khanda am natang atul khanda as an example uh, silva uh, any other Jay Vikrama or um, Atanayaka, likewise, there are many uh, authors are included in that in the particular research. Silva is the primary author. So the Silva Ital, likewise, you can uh, write with the italic form and the particular year. Those are the in text citation you have to write in the particular research article. In text me within the text. You have to write but in the referencing you have to write all the names with the initials and that in the uh, reference list you have to follow in the alphabetical order also when re referencing and some uh, research papers and research article or journals in the body text not uh, in text citation they are expecting in the author's name or uh, year. In in that case, you have to put in some uh, numbers. I will show you in some articles with that. This is the one uh, article review article. You can see that in based on the uh, format. It will be depend uh, abstract and the introduction and uh, there are lengthy introduction then uh, because uh, according to uh, that in the topics and also uh, you can see that in the edible film coating the comparison put likewise there are some uh, images related to your edible coating processing part and some comparative you can see some several comparisons are in the table this is the review the article a typical structure this is the typical uh, format not in the format uh, review article when you are reference all the references are here findings and properties are here then comparative really describe anyone can easily grab 
more things about in the review article. When you are attending that part, it may be more valuable. This is the one uh, review article in the journal paper. This is the engineering, uh, the process development. Study the self life of Sinjibi uh, Officinal is stored in the uh, nerd fabric coil room. This is the action research or research or not in the review. You can see uh, the name study killer patangalantin. The abstract is included the purpose. This is the purpose. This is the methodology. Two, three statements, the purpose also done. Then then come purpose Where are these study? And methodology, how many samples or this is the design. And methodology. What are the testing methods that they have used? And uh, conclusion uh, in further recommendation or everything. Another one. They have mentioned every uh, related photographs, images, and comparative analysis in the research in the results. Everything is mentioned and conclusion part. And most important references. Not all the references are mentioned. Now, five, three, or up to six references normally used because it has a concentrated only eight pages or six pages. In another one, this is the extended abstract, not full paper, extended abstract. Uh, civil injury and social uh, life expectancy assessment of archaeological building can be in Sri Lanka. This is a uh, cons construction part, but it is archaeological research. Here also purpose. Why attending this kind of research? And uh, locations. Where are that locations? Sample were done. Likewise, abstract is and with the keywords. Then introduction part and literature review also included. then methodology, then analyze party with the building structure, so some uh, maintenance period also comparatively study and life expectancy in the particular building and references. You can see 13 references. And uh, another research. This is the one uh, review article. Uh, it has in, uh, in the abstract comparatively what they have grabbed included in the Lactic acid bacteria in functional for meal. So that in the finally uh, they conclude according to the given uh, uh, comparison within that in the particular article review and uh, finally in, based on the topic it has mentioned in the fermentation is the under the keyword. And other one is in the lactic acid bacteria is another keyword. So that in the preservation is the another keyword. Those are the main keyword that they have selected as in the abstract based on the given 
topic. Likewise, you have to write down in uh, keywords when you are finding with the topic and the abstract at the late end. In here, in the introduction, with that in the based on that in the uh, topics and uh, according to the grab uh, the, the date literature part they arrange in some topics not in the literature review methodology uh, results and discussion not in uh, like in the other uh, primary data with, within the particular research article they may uh, comparatively mention in here all the grab data in pinpoint all the summarized data with the, their interpretation author's interpretation likewise in the literature review articles in put into this way and conclusion part in the interpretation is more important uh, the more important at the point those are the findings you can mention. This is the one, one literature review article I may share with you for more information. Other one, I am basing one uh, more uh, an article with me, but uh, there are some uh, sharing problem with me. Malkanti means uh, any other idea about it in the i will share with the other particle or, or open for discussion uh, kamal sir since we are running out of time i think we can conclude the session now and if there are any other materials we can share it on uh, symposium website because we are sharing the recording also on symposium website so if there are any other slides other materials we can also share on that. Uh, if if the uh, participants have questions, I think this is the, we can give you a few uh, minutes so you can ask from the research panel if you have any questions. Yes, I think uh, better to this. Any, any questions that you have or clarification? Because um, concerning question as my you know me uh, uh, is asking uh, if there is a multiple authors how should we be arranged is it according to the alphabetical order uh, no actually it is according to uh, your author usually the first author is the writing person that is according to your uh, view right the Authors are uh, arranged according to your purpose. Uh, usually, the first author is a writing person, and second people and or, or corresponding author, and the second third authors are according to your purpose. That is not, not according to the alphabetical order. Am I right, Kamal sir? Yes. Yes. Of course, uh, based on the primary author and secondary author, not can cannot be changed uh, according to your view or anything. Based on the writing person and uh, the corresponding author and other supervisor, all the corresponding authors include cannot be changed. 